afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Comrade Amalili, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have with me here is uh, Comrade Alieze Ude Uza Bonwa, a lover of the government of Engineer Dr. David Mwes Omai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. Okay, what do you have to say about the place of Ndibo in Nigerian National College? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank everybody who are viewing us and our listeners as well. Uh, the politics of Nigeria is something that uh, the video was of mine. The executive governor of the one state has done so much to navigate us into the ministry. Uh, of course, he has actually did a very nice job. Uh, you can be with me. You can, you can see with me that. Uh, the politics of Nigeria is beclouded with the uh, sentiment of religion and uh, tribalism. If not because of these two reasons I'm giving you here, I think Umahi as a governor has a proven track, record, a capacity to emerge. Okay. But a lot of issues and factors came up and uh, it, it seems as if he didn't make it. He was the best candidate for the job. Exactly. But I believe that uh, he will come out uh, stronger in the next uh, civilization. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Comrade Ali. Uh, what do you have to say about the infrastructural stride of Governor David Wins Omai? Uh, thank you, Lilian. I think you are giving me a very nice uh, topic to talk about. Uh, when you talk about uh, urban state infrastructural uh, development, of course, before now, Pony was so primitive that uh, everything was lacking. We hadn't wood, we hadn't water, exactly. we hadn't light. Exactly. Our hospitals, general hospitals, were not working. A lot of issues. Our schools were shut down. But when Omai came, he started reconstruction, rejuvenation, revamping all sectors. At least, if you go to the local government area today in Aoku, you see that our general hospital has become a federal medical center. Every amenities needed for facility, every facilities needed for medical medical attentions have been provided by the state government. Uh, when you talk about uh, developing the state, Omai has done so much. He has been okay. He has make sure he, he made sure that all the road linking the Tajikistan government areas of the state have been constructed and we have been connected, making the agricultural activities of our rural dwellers, other businesses viable. So Umai has proven very well in that area. Infrastructurally, Ebony has been given the first lift, okay. and uh, he made it very possible. It wasn't like this before. Thank you so much. Is all right. Uh... Uh, what about the empowerment program uh, conducted by the state government? Or are you going to tell us that if the empowerment program is transparent? Very, very transparent. Okay. If I tell you that a member of Apuga in, the, in my place, in my house, is a beneficiary, Good. some persons may say I am, I am speaking because I'm an APC man. No. I have a friend of mine who is an Apuga, an Apuga man. I have some from PDP. They are beneficiaries. This list was very transparent. And Omai made it that way. He, he, he told the people in charge, he said, please, this empowerment is for all Eponians. And it is devoid of political sentiment. It cooperates everybody. And I am very, very sure that uh, almost everybody, let me, let me not say everybody, are beneficiaries of this empowerment program. And the best of it is that it is very, very transparent. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so what do you have to tell my fans uh, about the Omai Governor Omai's natural ambition come 2023? Uh, the ambition of uh, Governor David Mose Omai as regarding uh, the South Senate is that the uh, party is supreme, and I think the party has taken decision. Any other person talking about the NPC's eradicate of the, of the zone is just fighting the party. He said that someone is sponsoring from somewhere or that you'll be paid to, to distract the party from going to the regional election. Exactly. The Umai is not the owner of APC. He has obeyed the rule of law. The party says there should be a rerun. 
and he joined the race. He won. <laughs> what if my does not? If my is not is not uh, permitted to contest election, why would the party accept him in the first place when he bought his form? Exactly. He bought the form. He contested for election, and he won. So the party has the power to remove a candidate and even replace a candidate, which they did not do. They gave a free and uh, fair landing where everybody, the contestants, were allowed to run. And they ran, all ran, and my won. So any other thing should be should be that someone somewhere is trying to scatter our APC. And God in heaven will not allow it to happen. Because the police state is APC and the is a candidate of a police south. So yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Uh Thank you, my viewers, uh, my listeners. Uh, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please click the subscribe button to get updates about Governor Mai senatorial ambition to represent the great people of Ebony South Zone. Thank you.